Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Um, today I'm gonna to be using the B spline tool, which is on your, your freehand or your drawing tools, but I'm gonna blend with it. I'm gonna start, well, let me zoom in and you can kinda, and I'm gonna start by using a black canvas so it just really shows it off. The B spline tool is pretty cool. You draw a line, you, you just keep clicking your mouse as you're moving and then you can move up and down. Now what I, and so to get to be finished, just double click and now you have that line. Now what I do like about it, I can grab it with the shape tool and my handles are still there from the B spline. So you can adjust it. And we're gonna do some more on that actually later. I'm gonna delete that one. Now I am gonna control D and make a duplicate. I'm gonna make the duplicate yellow by right clicking my mouse and then I'm gonna move it just ever so slightly. I want it kind of folded like that, maybe a little bit further apart. Now I'm gonna grab both of them and I'm gonna to go to effects and blend. And I'm just gonna blend 20 times and look at that. Now this is, there's really no crossovers, but we can grab that line and move our bleed spline. So now you have some like folds in your spline, in your blend. And also at this time, uh, you don't have to be stuck with drawing a hairline. If you will grab the item, your, your line tool doesn't really show up, but if you hit F12 on your keyboard, and let's move this out of the way so we can actually see it work. Now that's a little bit thick because we started out pretty close. Uh, maybe we'll go a little bit more and it's gonna uh, make it pretty cool. Now it's almost an optical illusion but when you zoom in, there's nothing there. But when you zoom out, you can actually see traces. But what I do like about the beast blind tool is that you can still, you know, manipulate and see what it looks like in real time by uh, doing stuff like this. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. And thank you for watching.